Aloha guys, very windy day, I'm out fishing, but a lot of people ask me, okay, I use the Alcove Pro, how do I use it? Now I, I got my two fishing rods over there and I've been getting small hits all day, so I'm kind of watching it right now. Okay, but this is the Alcove Pro. First, how do you arrange it? Because you want this looking exactly at what you want to film. So you, you kind of want it at an angle like that meaning that you don't want the camera here going straight off. You want it coming down. So let me show you what I do. See that, that's the brace. The brace is going straight up and down. You want the camera, oh, something's ringing the bell a little bit. You want the camera offset like that. If it's straight forward, it's not gonna work because when you put it on, you're gonna be taking pictures of the sky. All right, so what, what I do is I, I lean it a little bit forward like that. And the best way to do that is go, go to the bathroom mirror. See the angle you need, right? See, look at this. It's looking directly at you, you, my subject. My subject is my cell phone now, so it's looking right at it. So that's what you want, all right? Now, if you don't remember what it should look like, you can always look at the reflection off your cell phone, off a piece of glass, like off your car, and that should work but if you really want to be perfect get a piece of cardboard mark mark lines of of this angle this v and you get it right every time just match it up all right so what i do is i, I use this gopro headband right and i love this um Elco pro because it comes with an external mic and what's good about the external mic is you're getting true to life volume see right here See, I have it right here. I don't put it here because it's too close and you got and you got vibrations coming off your throat. Sometimes it gets garbled. You gotta have it a little bit away. I like, that's why I like to wear um, shirts with pockets on it for it. So what I do with the, um, the GoPro brace is that, okay, I put the uh, external mic on it and the external mic comes with the alcove, right? If you get something like, um, a lavalier system that you know you're buying extra for like say a gopro gopro is expensive already but a lavalier external mic is around a hundred dollars or more this actually comes with it all right this comes free with the elf code so what i do is i i put the um, um i plug it in put the wiring through the band here and what i do is i bundle up the excess wiring all right See that? This is why I like pockets. You got the clip here. And what I do is I tape this, see? I tape it on here. So this is the weak point, that's a flex point. You don't want it to eventually for the wire to move, move, move and finally um, break on the inside. So um, I wire it, uh, I mean, I tape it down. I clip it off. Remember, put it here. Do not put it here because even when I'm talking right now, I can feel the vibrations on my throat. You don't want that, all right? So this is what I do, all right? I, I turn my unit on, I turn it off this way when, when I'm recording. And um, there are days that I actually need an extra battery. I bring an extra battery with me, all right? So uh, let me show you something else. All right, this is my VidPro, my VidPro Lite. Water tight resistant, okay? Look how powerful you got during the daytime. One, two, three, four power settings. All right. Lights up the whole area. Now, if I wanted to, I could put a, um, another bracket on from the, that are screwed into here and I could put the other one on so I could really light up the area. But I found that it, I don't need that. For close quarter work within 10 feet, two clicks is good enough. Three is a little overboard. Four will draw on everything out. So at nighttime, I'm going to use this one. I'm gonna, you notice again, that V here, you know the angle, right? So when you put your camera here, you're gonna have that nice V. So what I'm gonna do is when I go out at night, I put this on, I usually go one, two, that's all I have to do. And I keep it on, I, I keep this on all night. This is a VidPro, this is called a VidPro LED M52, see that? 
it's, it's um I think it's like around twenty dollars. It's not that very it's not very expensive. So I have two. It has a port over here, so when you charge it and you drill, you just cap it off so the water stays out. I really like this system because at night I put my um, unit on this, all set to go, and it's hands free. So you know when I'm working with my baits or a lot um, live fish for bait, I have total movement and when i'm fighting a fish this is what i use all right so uh, this is this is my main system here my alco pros 4k cine this is made by alan Titel, who is a two-time emmy award winner and this is what i use for day and night now the thing is if, if i go out where i have to in the day i gotta keep switching back and forth back and forth but i i, I use this um this head protector the head protector works a lot better so I can take it on and off. All right, so I hope this answers your question of what I prefer to use when I go out day or night. This is what I use for my uh, YouTube channel. Anybody can use this for almost anything from hunting to camping, uh, skiing. This is a good system. I would highly recommend this. Use your favorite camera, but for what I do, the Elf Cove Pro is good. I, I mean, I, I tried everything. I tried. Um, E4Ks, I tried the Onreels, the Casos. The, uh, you know, the GoPros weren't too bad. Everybody says, oh, how about a GoPro? Well, GoPro's good in name. Okay, there, there's like every product, sometimes you get some good ones, sometimes you get some bad ones, all right? The problems I was getting was um, the downloads, I was getting problems, overheating. Um, it was just too many problems, so I decided to get away from the GoPros, all right? Um, and I've been sticking with the Elkos, and the Elkos been doing pretty good, and it's uh, roughly half the price. And it comes with so much accessories from the underwater case to the um, external mic, everything you need, so I don't have to buy anything. It just comes right out of the box, and I can use it right away, all right? Well, except for maybe the, the micro SD card, that was the only thing I had to buy. So thanks a lot. This is what I use. Thank you.